Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Media Encoder 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create preset groups, which will allow you to bundle or group together all of your Adobe Media Encoder presets into one folder. If you have not already done so, install Adobe Media Encoder from the Adobe Creative Cloud app. Once installed, go ahead and open up Adobe Media Encoder. And the version that I'm using for this tutorial is version 23.0.1. To create a new preset group, you can come to the top menu, click on Preset, then select Create Group. There's also a keyboard shortcut, Command or Control G. You can also come down to the Preset Browser. You can right click anywhere and choose Create Group or you can click on the little folder icon, create new preset group. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Then you're gonna give your preset group a name. I'll call this Mike's Presets. And to add presets to your new preset group, if you've already created some custom presets and you wanna put them in the group folder, just select it and drag it right into that group folder. If you change your mind and you don't want that in the group, you can just select it and drag it out. To add one of the Adobe system presets, you can twirl open and browse through all the presets or just use the search field and type in something that you're looking for. I'm just gonna type in YouTube. I can select it and just drag it right into the folder up at the top. And you'll notice when you drag one of the system presets, you're gonna see alias next to the preset name. That just means that this is a shortcut or a reference to the original. But one thing you do want to know, that when you see alias, you cannot rename or you cannot change the preset settings. So if I right click on this, you'll see that the preset settings are grayed out as well as the rename. But if I go to that custom user preset that I created, I can right click on that and I can modify the preset settings. I can also rename it. Even though you can't make the preset changes to an alias, if you do select it and drag it onto a file in the queue, well then you can click on the link in the preset column and make any changes to that preset as necessary. If you want to remove an alias from a group, you can tap the delete key or you can click on the minus key and that's just gonna remove the instance. It's still in the system presets. But if you were to do the same thing to a custom preset, so if I click on the minus or delete it, it is going to permanently delete that preset. And here's a little workflow tip. Let's say that you're adding presets to your group. So you're twirling open these and you're scrolling through trying to find ones that you want to add to it. And you're starting to realize that this list is getting kind of long. So when you get to the bottom, you have to drag this all the way up to the top. Well, if you just right click and choose create alias, that alias is created inside of the user preset group. You see it gets put right there. So now all you have to do is just drag it right into that group. Now the next time you export from Premiere Pro, After Effects, or Audition, you have a folder of all your favorite presets. You can drag them onto the files one by one, or you can just take the entire group, drag it onto a file. It will process everything you have in your group. All you have to do is click on the play icon and Adobe Media Encoder will encode them one by one. Pretty cool. So that is how to create preset groups in Adobe Media Encoder 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.